Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. The thing you have to understand is this. The Sam Fisher you knew is dead. America killed him, asked him to make one sacrifice too many, cross one line too far. A drunk driver killed him, some anonymous asshole who ran down his daughter and vanished. She was the one thing in his life that humanized him. And his agency killed him set him up, turned him loose, and told him to pull the trigger on his best friend in a dirty New York City basement. Irving Lambert died by Sam's hand that day. And so did Sam. So he left. Left third echelon, left the life he knew. Left America and mom and apple pie, left it all behind. He hopped off the grid and went walkabout, looking for a reason to go on living. Eventually, he found it. He caught a whisper in the wind that maybe his daughter's death hadn't been an accident. He heard a name, and he found somewhere to go looking. A city all right. called Valletta. It's in Malta. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Phone call for you. Please accept these compliments of your call. Sam. Who is this? How'd you find me? Give me a little credit, Sam. Don't tell me you don't recognize my voice even after all this time. Grim, what do you want? To save your life. We can go from there. A team of armed men just entered the marketplace looking for you. They're closing in on your position. Unless you do exactly what I say, this will be a very short conversation. I'm not doing a damn thing until you tell me how you found me. We're third echelon. We've got an eye on everyone. Look up. You'll see it. I see it. Then I can take it back up to safe altitude and you can get moving. You still haven't told me how you found me. Move. You've got multiple hostiles inbound on your position. And from where you're at, you're a sitting duck. Now get to that group of stalls in the market. There's a lot of cover for you there. Just like the old days, huh, Grim? Just like the old days, Sam. Are you carrying? Yeah, but I'd rather not risk a firefight when there are civilians around. That's very noble of you. But right now, what matters to me is getting you out of there in one piece. So get to that group of booths right now, or I can't help you, Sam. Get you a little closer to those targets in the light over there. Go cover to cover until you reach the luggage stand. Make it there, and I might be able to. I'm there. The guys on, huh? Hang on. You Tapping into the city's power grid. That'll let me overlook yeah. the transformers near get you and blow out those lights. Back up down here now. All right. Hey there, kiddo. What's wrong? I don't like the dark. It's scary. Turn on the light for me, please. Come on, sweetie. There's nothing to be afraid of in the dark. Sometimes darkness is a good thing. Like when you want to go to sleep. I could go to sleep with the light on. When it's light, you can't see into a place that's dark. But when it's dark, you can see what's around you much better. Really? Really. So if there's monsters or bad people around, you can see them. And if you're in the dark, they can't see you. I can't see you either. Can you please turn the light back on? Okay. Then how about this? There's one really cool thing I didn't show you yet. There is? Show me. 
Okay, here it is. When you're in the dark and your eyes get used to it, you can see all sorts of things around you really well. And then you can do stuff with it. Like what? Now take a look at your mobile. You can see it really well, right? If there were monsters standing underneath it, because I can see it, maybe I could make it fall on them and they'd go away. And it would fall on their heads and they wouldn't be bad anymore? That's my girl. Daddy, what was that? Daddy needs you to stay in bed now, okay? He's gonna shut the door and I'll be back real soon, all right? Okay, Daddy, I love you. Stay in bed. There you go, Sam. Nice and dark, just the way you like it. You know what you did, you bastard. We'll get you. We're waiting for you, shithead. Come out and show yourself, fuckface! What do you got, man? You got anything good? This place is shit. Yeah, you picked it, asshole. You said we'd get a couple of thou east. I heard there was metals and shit we could fence in here. The lady that lives here is hot. Maybe we could wait for her to come home. Take it out and trade. Now Shit. you're talking. Dad, what did you do to them, Dad? Sarah, baby, don't look. What are you doing? Sam, talk to me. Sam? Sam, are you there? Come on, don't check out on me. Graham. Oh, there you are. They brought in some reinforcements and the man calling the shots is with them. Get a hold of him. I'll ID him and you can figure out what questions to ask. Paying the bills, on Coben. Oh man, why we gotta keep working for this guy? His money's good. <laughs> I've got an ID on the leader, Sam. His name is Dimitri Gramkos, a local street level boss. He hires himself and his gang out on a regular basis. Who's he working for now? Why don't you ask him? I think I will. You see anything? Shit. The special guy's smart. Probably ran out the back end of the market and left his hair for a thumbs up or Not him. Back's all blocked off. He's gotta come from here. Hopefully before we die of old age. What the hell is he hiding anyway? Jewelry stand maybe? No, not enough cover. He's gotta be somewhere around here. Probably someplace close. If he was close, we'd see him. We'd take him out. Get that reward money Gremko's is promising for another one's a cap on this guy's ass. Looking for me, asshole. No more playing around. Who sent you? I'm not telling you a goddamn thing! Okay, enough. You wanna know who sent me? It's Colbert. Andre Coben <coughs> runs drugs, guns, anything people want, he gets it for them. Not good enough. Why does Coben want me dead? 
He drove the car that hit your daughter. He used to brag about it, you know? But heard you were coming, so he hired me to, to kill you before you killed him. You should refund his money. Where do I find him? You don't understand. Oh! He killed me! In the city, the old museum on King George Street. It's his place now. Guards out front and on the sides. Don't tell him I told you. Oh, I'm not gonna tell him a damn thing. Don't tell him I told you. But I knew all along that's where Sam would be going. Anything dirty in Malta ran through that mansion. Coven's whole operation was based there, and he turned the place into a fortress. Which, to be fair, it pretty much was to start with. And that was before he filled the place with jumpy guys toting automatic weapons. But Sam knew Coven was in there. And that he might know something about what happened to his daughter. So, Sam was going in. No matter what. Fisher guys got him spooked bad. Hey! Fuck you! Holy shit! Haven't lost the touch. They hit on Fisher at the market. I guess it's up to us now, man. Man, did you see that list of meds Coben wants? Everything, I think. Slow, oxy, cunt, and shit. Are those horse strikes? I didn't get that thing again. Trying to do a Scarface. So what are we supposed to do with these? Drag them to the back courtyard. Let someone else dump them. I guess that's something. Who are these assholes anyway? We've heard of the CIA. The king. 
Copen cleaned them up. Copen cleaned up secret agents? Shit, now I'm impressed. I'm a little freaked. I mean, what the hell is he doing capping spooks? Who the hell has he got us working for? Who's gonna ask him to cap spooks? Who's gonna come looking for these guys? You guys are pussies. Yeah, well, you never know. Get anything off the buttons? Out of this business, you an ID. So unless you're the no, owner, man. you can't sell it, and you can't use it. And besides, the goggles are covered in rain. You have to go there, huh? You really have to go there. I'm just Would saying. Would you shut up, both of you? I'm getting a feeling that Coven is in way over his head. If he drowns, we drown with him. Uh, man, just I like you better when you were talking about Gran the rain. Coast. He's on his way, I think. Dude, I don't know. I hear the Fisher guy is pretty bad. Badass. It sings it learn to watch out for that. Turn it back on. Fuck, he's been killed. Okay now. Damn it, we got a man down! What the fuck is happening? We gotta wake up, guys! Okay, stay where right. you are. I'm on my way. First rule of a fight, never leave your feet.
I was just messing with you, man. I didn't mean it. 
I swear I didn't mean it. Then make it up to me. Tell me why you killed her. I can't tell you. All you can do is kill me. It was just a job. They just gave me a picture and told me to provide a body. That's all it was, a dump job. They isn't good enough. Who were you working for? I can't tell you. I'm still working for them. They'll gut me if I tell you. They're not the ones you should be worried about right now. You don't kill them, Fisher! They're bigger than you! They're bigger than me! Don't you see? They told me you were coming! Drop it, Fisher! Drop it now! You won't be hurt! Sam, you need to go with them. The hell I do. Please, you have to trust me on this one. If you're talking to the Ice Queen, Fisher, I'd advise you to listen. She knows all sorts of things you'd be interested in. What took you so fucking long? Don't move! Hands in That's the air! Nice and easy! Man, this is Ghost Hawk 1. We've secured Panther and are ready to return to base. Alright, Grim. You get this one. But if it's a setup, Sir, you might suck up!